The term economic moat, popularized by Warren Buffett, refers to a business's ability to maintain competitive advantages over its competitors in order to protect its long-term profits and market share. Yeah. What are the key indicators you look for within companies before making an investment? Well, I look for something that does give them a moat around. You know, what we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a, a business with a wide and long-lasting moat around it, protecting a terrific economic castle with an honest lord in charge of the castle. Moats are the mythical creature of investing. They apparently exist, but they're hard to find. What is a moat? Why should you care? Well, Warren Buffett seems to love moats. And if Buffett cares about moats, then perhaps we should too. A moat is a sustainable competitive advantage. The imagery of moats as a body of water to protect a castle is apt, as a moat protects a company from its competitors. Competition benefits consumers, but it's not so great for companies. There's no magic formula to identify a moat. It involves thoughtful analysis beyond just data. Think about everyday products you use. Consider how a product's appeal might change with price shifts, innovation, user base growth, and market entry barriers. For example, would you switch to a competitor if there is a slightly lower price? If the answer is yes, that means there likely isn't a moat. Our analysts at Morningstar have identified five sources of competitive advantage. A network effect occurs when the value of a company's goods or services increase for both new and existing users as more people use them. Network effect is often found in social media, communications, and payment companies. The more users they have, the more value their users derive from their service. Intangible assets are brands, patents, and regulations that protect a company from their competitors or allow them to charge higher prices. For example, luxury good retailers or exclusive licenses granted by governments for companies to operate, such as casinos. Firms with cost advantage have scale that usually allows them to spread fixed costs over huge customer bases. This enables them to undercut competitors while maintaining margins. Switching costs are when it becomes too expensive or troublesome to stop using a company's products or services. That indicates pricing power. Examples of this can be found in financial services, such as switching banks, or changing software, which is deeply embedded into the user process. Efficient scale means companies that operate in a niche market without much competition, because it's not worth it for businesses to try and compete. It's no secret that successful long-term investing requires identifying and buying great businesses at the right price. However, discovering companies with strong moats can be challenging and time-consuming. Our global team of analysts does this for each of the 1,600 companies that they cover. But you can do this on your own. We went through the different moat sources. Think about how those impact the different businesses in your portfolio or ones that you're considering. Remember, the secret to investing is becoming a student of business and understanding those different dynamics that affect companies. This video has been prepared for clients of Morningstar Australasia Proprietary Limited and or New Zealand Wholesale Clients of Morningstar Research Limited. Any general advice has been provided without reference to your financial objectives, situation, or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest. To obtain advice for your own situation, contact a financial advisor.